Okay, Paul Catcher off of 423buyland.com. And this is, I believe, day number five of clearing lot number 164. And I want to do a quick walkthrough to let people know how far we progress. I had a lot of people that call me right before I finish because they want a head start on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a walkthrough. We've technically dropped everything that needs to be dropped. There's always a few extra things. So what I did was I, clear, I cleared the first half of the lot. And um, you know, we started our burn pile and we cleaned up the front so it has some curb appeal when you come out and visit the property. So the back half of the lot, I was doing methodically and just cutting a tree down, throwing it on the fire, cutting a tree down, tree down throwing it on the fire. But I really need to make time on this. I've got another lot to go to. So I just went ahead and dropped the whole back half of the lot and I'll show you. This is what I do when I'm under pressure, under uh, severe time crunch. So we're going to go walk lot 164 together. I think you guys will like this. Um, try not to make it too long. How's that? Okay. You can see there's the marker. We did the first half. It looks nice and clean. So here we go. I'm going to walk down the right lot line. And... These trees are going to stay. They're big trees. They're nice trees. you got a spot to go down the center of this lot for an RV. Okay. Right about there is the survey marker. So, I've got, I'm hung up on that tree. Kind of gives you an idea of exactly what I go through when I'm doing the clearing. All of these logs take a long time to burn. Of course, the thinner stuff doesn't. Um, as I make my way to the back here, let me step over some of the stuff. Everything is leading over, falling over. It's kind of a big mess, but that's just kind of the way you have to do it. So I made my way to the chainsaw to the back. There's the back property marker. I still have some brush to clean up right there. But I'm probably going to leave this little cluster of trees because they're right on the back lot line. And you can't put anything within within 10 feet of the back lot line. So there's probably no reason to drop them. You see what I mean? Watch. There's the back lot line. No reason to drop those trees. You're not going to back anything up to it. There is the other marker that we found. So as I look down the other lot line, we see here. The other lot marker is right about there. Okay, so we have our burning cut out for us for sure. But you can see it's real opened up and airy. All the trees that we're going to leave because you can get a spot right through there with an RV. And you can back it right up through here. Okay, these are small lots. Don't ever want to take down big trees. Don't want that extra cost and fraction, naturally. I'm trying to stay within the lot line so we have a nice laser point line let me get around this just a that that tree is gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> so there's the lot line we come through here and this is have uh, a lot of burning cut out for us Always looks a lot more when you see it in person. It's kind of daunting right now. It took us three or four days to break into the front. We had to pull everything out. We had to clean up this front because we knew we had people coming out. We wanted it to be somewhat inviting. So I'm thinking another three or four days. That'll put us at around, eh, around eight days to do this properly. That, that's because of the burning. Obviously, I dropped everything now. But... You can't leave a fire, and that fire is just, it's a slow process. So, anyway, uh, if you have any questions about Lot 164, my name is Paul Ketcheroff. My website is 423buyland.com. I hope everybody stays safe. Don't forget to vote. It's really important. And if you have any questions, you can text me till midnight. You can call me till midnight, but normally... Uh, most people will text me after 8 or 9, but I'm up till midnight just for you because I want to sell my properties. That's how we 
make our living and we feed our families and we pay our bills. So really important. So good luck on everything you do. It is Sunday. Still working. We never stop until we get these lots done. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.